Hi there, and today I'm going to be covering the CS245, whether it's playing CDs, listening to USB sticks, or listening to your iPod. The CS245 pretty much covers it all, and also it has a built-in tuner. So today I'm going to be covering all this and more. So then, let's get started. Here we have the CS245. You get two speakers in the box with the actual unit, the CR245, and a remote control along with accessories of cabling, antenna and a power lead. But also you can have the CS245 in a number of different colours. Here we've got white, green, black, dark red and a dark brown. So pretty much every colour to fit every sort of situation, whether it be a kitchen, a bedroom, a conservatory or a main front room. But let's get started with the remote control. It's a basic remote control which covers everything you need. You've got timer, input selection, power, play, stop, pause, volume and navigation keys to cover all of the necessary commands you need on the CS245. And also it will control the iPod when placed into the dock. And now we're going to move on to the tuner. We're going to power the unit up. This particular model is the AM and FM version only, but there is available a DAB and DAB Plus unit. Once the unit's powered up, you can press the display button, and this will actually give you the RDS information if there is any being transmitted, along with text information, but this is all station dependent and doesn't rely on the unit itself. Now I'm gonna plug in a USB stick straight into the front. Depending how the music is actually arranged on the USB stick will actually determine how long it takes to load up the file system and it's just a simple case of pressing the USB iPod button to select the USB stick. And here we go. It's now found it and then it's just a case of selecting and going through the folders on the USB stick and playing your music. Nice and simple. Here we go. I'm going to search through one of the folders. And hey presto, it's playing. Again, by actually using the display button, you can actually scroll through and see what tracks are named and how the album's named as well. Here we go. Repeatedly pressing the display button will actually give you different types of information. So here we've actually got the MP3 track playing. And then here's the album name folder name and here we have the bit rate and the frequency sampling rate so by pressing the display button you can get all of the information you need and then by changing folder I've got another album on here and then it's just a case of running through the same process again to get the information from the next album or folder that you're actually playing so nice and simple, easy to use, with a fast response. Also, playing an iPod is very simple. Just slide the top cover away and drop your iPod, iPhone, onto the dock and away you go. It will start charging after a couple of moments and then we're ready to go. Also, another bit of information for you, this is actually a digital connection. So the information runs digitally from your iPod or iPhone, decoded internally inside the unit. Not unlike other units which they use the D2A converters actually inside the iPod or iPhone. And what this enables us to do is to give you the very best sound quality from your iPod or iPhone. And then you just use the remote control as normal to navigate around the iPhone or iPod to play, stop, volume up and down, fast forward. And another thing you can actually do is use Spotify. Here's my iPhone. Press the Spotify button. Up it pops. And now it's just a simple case of selecting a track that you want to listen to. And this will be streamed via the wireless network to the iPhone and then playing through the CS245. Nice and simple and it allows you to actually use your Spotify account with the CR245. Another bonus for the CS245 system is the fact that we've included 
two-way speakers within the actual speaker cabinet. This enables us to give you a deep powerful bass and a very very detailed mid-range and high frequency. Now moving on to the rear of the unit including the speakers we've got an AM and FM aerial, a line in, a video out for your iPod, iPod touch for videos not on screen display though and also a subwoofer connection so if you want even more bass you can quite happily plug a sub in and away you go. With the DAB and DAB Plus version there will be an addition to a DAB aerial on the back. We also have the speaker terminals on the far right hand corner of the back and then below this we have the AC power connector which is a figure of eight style and this allows for easy connection and disconnection of the unit. And in addition to everything else we've added in, we've included the dynamic bass management technology, which makes sure you get nice, clean, rounded bass, even at low volumes. So I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I'll see you soon. Many thanks. Bye-bye.